Hey guys, this is Snowdrop, and today this will be my first episode for the series JTAG Tutorials. Today's episode will be about on how to turn a God formatted game into an XEX format. And this involves two steps, two main steps, and it's actually fairly easy. Anybody can do it, I think, as long as you have common sense, a brain, and you're, you, know, you understand how to work around a computer, which a lot of you this generation know how to do. So you're going to need two programs. You're going to need Horizon and God 2 ISO. And you're going to need the folder of your game that's in that's currently in a God format. So just follow along with me. I'll go step by step. I'll do every step with you and just guide you through it. So today's example I'm going to use Borderlands that I just ripped off my hard drive. And when you open up your game it's going to look like this. And it should look the same for all of you even if you had a Call of Duty game any, or any other game. It should look about the same you're going to have a main file and then you're going to have data files like these but the one you're not going to you're going to want to use is this one not these ones you're going to want to use this one so what you want to do is you're going to want to open up Gato ISO and I'll include all the download links in the description and this is the main program that's going to allow us to turn it into an XEX so what you're going to want to do is find your game which is already loaded up you're going to add that main file I told you. For example, like I'll go over it again, this file. No, oop, I accidentally clicked on it. You're going to want to open this file. Not these, this one, because this one connects to this folder. So once you, uh, um, you know, connect this with the program, it's going to automatically bind these together as well. So since I already have that added, as you can see, let's find a directory and I'll create a new folder. called Borderlands ISO. Put that right next to it. Okay. So let's go to Browse, Desktop. Oh, I'm actually going to have to move that into my documents. So I'll just bring it over here, Borderlands ISO, okay, sorry about that. So I'm going to go to Libraries, Documents, My Documents, oh, Borderlands ISO, and it's going to load that output, and after you're done, you're just going to click Go, and I don't think the process sh should take too long. If it does take a long time, then... I'll pause the video, but it seems to be going by pretty fast. I use Borderlands because it's only about 3.1 or 2 gigabytes. I didn't want to use a huge game, but like I said, this tutorial will work for all big formatted games that are 3 gigabytes and up. Prefer or actually 2 gigabytes and up. Seems to almost be done, almost 50%. I'm sorry if you can hear me drinking uh, water. Alright, so it's almost 50%, or it's, uh, yeah, just about 50. Hopefully you don't mind this taking a little, a little long. Not really. Alright, it's almost done, about 90%, 95%, undone. 
So you can close out a got to ISO and you're going to want to open up your ISO folder now. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong section. Borderlands ISO. Yep, you can see it's fully extracted into 3.4 gigabytes actually. So I'm just going to I'm going to move this to my desktop if you don't mind. So yeah. It's going to come in an ISO file. So you can see Wing Archiver ISO file. For you, it just might say ISO. For me, it says Wing Archiver because I have Wing Archiver set on my PC as a primary source for files. So, you, so this is our ISO file. Now, to turn it into an XEX, you're going to want to use uh, ISO to XEX or any ISO extractor, I guess. So, like I have this one over here. Let me go to. I'm really unorganized here. ISO extractors. And I usually use Image Browser V3. So I'll open this up. Okay, before I extract it to an XEX, you have two things. I just want to tell you you have two things that you can do. You can either run this ISO through a stealth patcher like uh, ABGX in case you want to stealth patch it that's mainly primarily if you're gonna use this game for uh, online use for Xbox Live if you're just gonna go completely offline and you're sure about that you can you're just good to go and you can just turn it into an XCX right away but if you're gonna use online like Xbox Live you might want to run this through a stealth patcher just in case but I'm just gonna skip that and just go straight to the XCX extraction so now that we have any ISO extractor, like for example I'm using Image Browser, I'm going to open up an image file. Let's find the one on my desktop. And we'll have Borderlands ISO. Open up that file and it's going to load all the game partitions as you can see. It's going to take a little... It's never, it's never taken me this long to open up a game. Unable to determine Xbox disk type. Let's try that again. Unable to determine Xbox disk type. Okay, let me try a different ISO extractor. This time I'll try XSO. So extract ISO, let's open desktop, let's find that folder again. <clears throat> An output folder will be. Now let's create a new folder called border XEX. Damn it, same thing, hold on. I have to move this to my documents. So save, library documents, my document, Borderlands XCX, click OK, and I'm going to keep the system update, or you can either decide to keep or delete the system update. I'm going to going to keep it. Alright, so you're just going to click OK. And there you go. I don't know why the other extractor wasn't working with Borderlands, but this one definitely works. Although I'll include both extractors either ways in the description for you to download. And as you can see, it's going by fairly fast. It doesn't take too long. Probably take another two minutes three minutes and I'll break down the video in the description on what's shown at what time in the video
still taking a little bit. If it takes one more minute, then I'm just going to pause and and just continue when it's done. But it might be about done right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop and just continue when it's done. Yeah, see you guys right now when this is fully done. Alright guys, I'm back and <laughs> sorry for that long extraction. I don't know why it took so long compared to the speed of putting it into an ISO, but the extracting the ISO took quite a while. So... It's done now. The whole prompt that was right here deleted. Well, it's gone, so it's done. And if we go check our folders, we can be happy and notice that we have an extracted now. So let me copy this and we'll move this to the desktop. And guys, um, if I make any errors throughout this tutorial, this is my first um, JTAG tutorial. I thought I would thought it would be fun to start a series and help people out so if I bear with me if I'm not you know a professional and just please bear with me so now we have an extracted and we should be happy about that good job if you reach this far and now what you're going to want to do is simple you're going to want to take any external hard drive like I'll get my Western Digital plug this in And that should load up. Oh, I think there we go. So what we're going to want to do is, as you can see, this is my 500 gigabyte. And what you're going to want to do is just basically drag drop you're gonna just want to drag and drop it wherever you want on your 500 gigabyte I'm not going to do that since uh, um, I don't I already have this game on my RGH so that's one step I won't do but literally it's just drag drop on your 500 gigabyte hard drive or I mean whatever hard drive you want whether it be a slim hard drive fat hard drive or external hard drive but that brings it to an end of my tutorial and if you want, I actually sell preloaded hard drives on my website. I'll show you that real quick. I sell, or actually I don't really have to show you, I can just talk about it. Um, on my website, I'll have a link in the description. I sell preloaded hard drives. I sell preloaded 500 gigabyte hard drives, preloaded terabyte, and preloaded 2 terabytes. And by preloaded, I mean I throw 15 to 30 plus games on the hard drive, whether it be, depending on if it's a 500 gigabyte or a terabyte or two terabyte and if you're using RGH then I can preload RGH while JTAG files onto it too like XCX menu emulators uh, freestyle dash all that good stuff dash launch but this officially brings an end to my tutorial thank you guys for watching hope you liked it I'll try to be better throughout my um, the rest of my series I'll learn from uh, the mistakes I've made and I'll just build on from that you know you gotta learn from trial and error thank you guys for watching this is snowdrop and I'm out.